GOP senators in the room during shithole scandal go public, reveal what really happened. On Thursday, President Donald Trump allegedly referred to Haiti, along with third world African nations, as a shithole during a meeting on immigration with senators at the White House. Today, it is seemingly all anyone can talk about. However, two GOP senators who were in the same room as the president when he supposedly made the comment have since gone public, revealing what really happened, and it's far different than the story the media has been telling you. At a press conference in Chicago on Friday, Democratic Illinois Senator Dick Durbin doubled down on his story that Trump had used the term shithole to describe undesirable third world countries, giving reporters his version of how the ordeal unfolded. When the question was raised about Haitians, for example, we have a group that have temporary protected status in the United States because they were the victims of crises and disasters and political upheaval, Durbin said Friday. The largest group is El Salvadoran. The second is Honduran and the third is Haitian, and when I mentioned that fact to Trump, he said Haitians. Do we need more Haitians? And then he went on and started to describe the immigration from Africa that was being protected in this bipartisan measure, continued Durbin. That's where he used these vile and vulgar comments, calling the nations they come from shitholes, the exact word used by the president not just once, but repeatedly. Senator Dick Durbin, Democrat Illinois, refuted President Trump's tweeted denials that he used the phrase SH thul countries when discussing legal protections for immigrants from Haiti, El Salvador and African countries. Durbin, who was in the meeting with the president when he made the remarks, said of Mr. Trump's denial, it's not true. He said those hateful things, and he said them repeatedly. Durbin attended an event in Chicago Friday and then held a press conference on the president's comments afterward. He told reporters how the issue came up. Source, CBS News. However, there are two sides to every story, and the version being put forth by two men who do not have an anti-Trump agenda is much, much different. In a joint statement issued on Friday afternoon, Republican Senators David Berto and Tom Cotton, who were in the room when Trump allegedly referred to Haiti as a shithole, emphatically claimed that they do not recall the president making that comment. President Trump brought everyone to the table this week and listened to both sides, they said. But regrettably, it seems that not everyone is committed to negotiating in good faith. In regards to Senator Durbin's accusation, we do not recall the president saying these comments specifically but what he did call out was the imbalance in our current immigration system, which does not protect American workers and our national interest, the senators added. We, along with the president, are committed to solving an issue many in Congress have failed to deliver on for decades, they concluded, leaving no doubt that the media and Democrats have blown this scandal out of proportion. To conclude, you can take the word of a pro-amnesty senator who hates President Trump with a passion and would love nothing more than to see him taken down. Or, you can consider that two other men who were also in the room when Trump allegedly called Haiti a shithole have adamantly refuted the story. Even if you do think Trump called third world countries a harsh word, you cannot say that he was wrong. Haiti is a certifiable shithole. That's why everyone who lives there is trying to leave and come here. At worst, Trump was telling the truth in his signature, politically incorrect way. Way.